Hello guys, myself Manoj Sharma. Welcome to TechnoSage. So in this video, let's talk about the nested XLOOKUP in Excel. So before we start up with this video, if you want to learn about what XLOOKUP is all about, how you can do different operations using XLOOKUP, and basically all the stuffs related to the XLOOKUP, please do check out our video on XLOOKUP. I have kept the video in the description box. Please do check that video. So in this video, let's talk about the XLOOKUP with two simple examples. So let's go one by one. So in the example number one, we have the table for the quarter one, quarter two, quarter three and quarter four results, which is basically the sales results. And we have the income statement over here on the screen where the total sales, cost of sales, gross profit, depreciation, interest, earning, tax and net profit is listed. So let's suppose for the quarter one, we have some total sales out of which the net profit is calculated. So if let's suppose a person wants to figure out the data for quarter three, he can just enter the quarter three in this quarter section into this cell and corresponding gross profit and net profit should be visible to, to him. And he need not to again go specifically into this table in order to figure out what was the gross profit or the net profit for that corresponding quarter. So how we can do this? We will take help of X lookup. The XLOOKUP will find the value inside this table and will print the corresponding gross profit value and the net profit value for that particular quarter that we want to search for. So let's consider we want the data for quarter two. So I'll enter. So I've entered quarter two, but the values are not listing. So let's see how we can list the value. Put equal symbol. Just type in XLOOKUP. XLOOKUP, the first value will be the lookup value. So what is the lookup value? The lookup value is the gross profit here. So the next is the lookup array where we have to find out the lookup value. So the lookup array is this one that is from B6 to B16. And since we will be creating this value and drag it to the next cell, we have to just make it absolute cell reference. If you don't know the concept of absolute cell reference, I have kept a video link in the description box. Please do check in order to understand what absolute cell reference next return array would be x lookup of now here what i need to find out the value for quarter two and where i need to find the value of quarter two inside this quarter one quarter two quarter four and what i need to find out from these quarters is these values and again i need to put the absolute cell reference over here so that if i am dragging the formula to other cell, the value should not be changing. Now I will close the bracket. So again, I'll repeat that if you don't know the concept of XLOOKUP, please do check the video in the description box before proceeding up with the nested XLOOKUP. So what we are trying to do over here is we need to figure out the value for the gross profit. But since we are just entering the quarter two heading, we are not entering the exact numbers. So what we need to do is we need to first figure out the gross profit within the income statement. And for that gross profit, we are figuring out the quarter one, quarter two or a quarter wise result. So first it will look for the quarter two and from the quarter two, it will just give me all the values for the quarter two. And then I will look up for the gross profit within that particular quarter two section. So what I'm trying to do at the last is I'm trying to figure out the gross profit from the quarter two section only and not from other sections since Specifically, I have figured out the quarter two section from this particular X loop that is residing within that X loop. Now, if I hit enter, you can see the value for quarter two gross profit is 36150, which is basically the exact gross profit for this quarter two. Now, since I've used the concept for absolute cell reference, I will just drag the formula to the net profit and the net profit will be calculated or will be shown for quarter two. Now, next time I need not to set any formula. The formula is now already set. If I want to figure out the value for quarter one, I'll just give quarter one, hit enter and you can see the gross profit for the quarter one will be shown and the net profit for quarter one will also be shown and that would be exactly correct. Now quarter four and you can see the gross profit and the net profit is exactly matching or it is basically fetching from this particular table. So in the previous example, we have seen the nested X lookup. Here we will see how we can use the sum function with nested X lookup. So in this example, what we are trying to do is we have a table where we have the product like apple, grape, pear, and we have the quantity for each of these fruits, price, and then the total. Total means the price into quantity. Now what we need to figure out here is we need to give the start and the end. Now let's suppose I have given the start as apple 
and end as banana so what it will do it will just give me the total of all the fruits lying between apple and banana including apple and banana also so let's suppose i am giving apple and i am giving here is banana so it should give me total of 11.96 75.46 18 and 17.1 which would be total up to i'll give some and it should be 122.52 this i know because i have used the sum formula and i have just gave the reference for apple till banana but what if a user wants to specifically give the start fruit and the end fruit and not select the cell reference we'll use the nested x lookup and we'll also use the sum function so here while using the sum what we did we we just gave the starting cell reference and we gave the ending cell reference and it did the sum of right from the starting till the end index so here we will use the same thing we'll write sum start the bracket and we will give the reference first the reference first means we'll have to give the reference of this but we just know the fruit name so what we'll do we'll write x lookup and under the x lookup we will search for apple and apple we need to search from the product and for that product we need to find the total value from this total sheet i'll close this i'll put the colon so now we need to give the reference for banana how put x lookup and open the bracket select banana put comma and then select all the products from the product list and the return array should be from the total and just close this bracket and close another bracket there are two brackets right and now hit enter so what i'm doing here is i'm doing sum and i'm trying to find out the value apple for that value apple i'm trying to figure out the total of that apple in the second what i'm doing is i am figuring out the total for banana so in the first i'm finding the total value for apple in the second i'm finding the total value for banana and with this colon i'm trying to sum the value right from apple to the banana and i'll hit enter and you can see now the value is 122.52 which is actually matching to the sum that we did previously before starting the video so this is it from the nested x lookup side i hope you understood the concept of nested x lookup if you have any questions or doubts please do let me know in the comment section please don't forget to like share and subscribe our channel thank you so much for watching guys